Hey, Jonathan Lee from Amion. I wanted to make you a quick video to show you how I would tackle this. Um, so I set up two rows uh, on my schedule, one and two, uh, and I'm going to make a call and shift pattern. So under the window menu, I'm choosing call and shift pattern. Um, this is a relatively uh, new feature, but I'm going to make a new pattern. So blue asterisk, new pattern, and I'm going to call it, say, uh, week one. Uh, it'll be a 14-day pattern, and I'm making it uh, instead of a worker being in a certain place, I'm going to choose unstaffed. And I'm going to say uh, that the second week is unstaffed. I'll make it uh, so that the first week is, and I'm going to ignore the weekends for the, for the moment. Uh, then I'm going to make another new pattern called uh, week two. It'll also be a 14-day pattern, and this time I'm going to make the uh, unstaffed week the Monday through Friday on the first week. Uh, and then I'm all set to tell the system that I want uh, service number one to follow, not variable, but my call week one, while my service number two follows uh, my call week two pattern. And then I'm going to also dictate who can work there. So maybe my um, service number two is staffed by one staff type, service number one is staffed by the other staff type. Um, now that I've done that, if I use the auto scheduler, which is also under the window menu, um, to fill in a chunk of time, I'm going to have uh, every other week filled, and uh, what I should have done is probably not worried about the weekends for the moment. So now I've got blue names every other week here and red names every other week uh, here. And there, there is not a simple way to combine these rows. You can copy and paste, but it doesn't work very cleanly. I've seen most groups in this position just label, um, you know, this is the clinic or call uh, week A, and this is clinic or call week B. And then they kind of uh, know what's you know who's working where and what's online. Um, this will also help. Uh, the system will not display uh, anyone in the daily list online if there isn't someone working that shift that day. So you won't see like an empty row out online. That should be very clear who's working. Um, I hope this helps. Let me send this your way. Uh, let, let us know what you think.